on the ground now. Put your hands out. Hands out to the side. Do not put your hand down. Put your head down. When criminals face the police, many prefer to talk their way out of trouble. But what happens when they decide to run away from the cops instead? Here are seven of the most incredible occasions when suspects tried to escape from police. Starting with a 33-year-old To Ya Lor, who on May 31, 2021, was observed speeding southbound on a motorcycle by an Onalaska police officer. Without delay, the officer attempted to initiate a traffic stop, but Lor had a different idea in mind. Not only did Lore refuse to pull over, but he also went against traffic in the northbound lane briefly to enter a parking lot before exiting to another street. Soon after, the officer pulled up beside Lore, but when he attempted to stop him again, it didn't seem like Lore was ready to cooperate. First, it looked like Lore was going to pull over, but then the motorcycle quickly sped away down Oak Avenue. This, however, turned out to be the worst decision in his life. As the officer was notifying dispatch, he was ending the pursuit. Lore's motorcycle collided with a vehicle at the intersection of Domkey Street. Unfortunately, Lore was thrown from the motorcycle in the crash and was later pronounced dead at the scene. But this is the beginning of suspects making dumb decisions. And it looks like they're pulling over the pulling. Stop! Stop! They're bailing off the freeway! They're bailing on July 13, 2022, 18-year-old Tylan Parker, 19-year-old James Adams, and two 17-year-old boys were driving at a speed of 50 miles per hour in a 30 miles per hour zone in Glendale, Wisconsin. But when an officer tried to pull them over, it was evident that they were not going to stop. Even when another officer deployed stop sticks, the teen's vehicle refused to stop. Due to the speed at which they were going, their vehicle crashed, and the teenagers suddenly did the unexpected. Yeah. 
During the fleeing, several items fell from the vehicle, including a loaded firearm and several bills of money scattered across the traffic lanes. However, it wasn't too long before the inevitable happened. He's still there! He's coming back this way! Show me your hands! Put your f***ing hands up right now! Walk towards me! Some... 744, he's with me. I got him at gunpoint. Like most taking me. Here, Camille, you'll grab my jacket from me. Hell, bro. All right, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Okay, don't do that, Come on. We just the one. Crossing over. Cover one. Still running, so stop! We have blackmail, white shirt, Adidas uh, pants. All the teens were eventually located and arrested, but we soon understood why they fled and how entitled they became. Side, bud. No. Yes. I can't breathe. Okay, roll over on your side. I'll get you up so you can breathe. No. You don't want to be on your stomach, man. No. Roll to your side. Help me. Okay, ready? Yeah, roll to your side, man. Get up on your butt so you can breathe, okay? Up on your butt. Uh, we got another one in custody. Can you stand up? Do you have any millennials gonna stick me, poke me, prick me? That's Any weapons? First, uh, third. Ready? One, two, three. I'm gonna pull your pants up. I'm gonna pull your pants up. Where? And if that's where? Here? You ain't got no clip, bro. Where's the clip? You throw it out the car? It's in the car. There's a bunch of shit. It wasn't Oh, really? They do it. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? I'm 17. 17? Okay. Out, out, out. Do it slowly, man. Damn. What's up with y'all? Why are you grabbing me like this? Because you're just, just running, dude. Stop oh. fing around. Bro. Stop twisting. Hey, stop twisting. I'm twisting. I'm you are twisting. Yeah. You're holding my arm. And I'm about to put you on the ground. You're holding my arm. It's a hard hat. Bro, I have bone issues. Chill. Stop bro. twisting. Stop twisting. Not twisting. You, you are. My arm. Leave your hands behind What's your back. What's your name? Simon. All right. Stop twisting. All right. Where's the sheriff's at? Right here. Where's the Where's the sh Where's the sheriff? There's nothing in my back pocket. Don't check my back pocket. You're under arrest. Don't get no. F so we're checking all your pockets. Ten four three three. For the last two, I wait. Man, I have. I, I got whole bone issues, bro. Okay, that's fine. Okay, then stop grabbing my. Hey, then stop twisting. Stop moving away. Didn't seem like that when you were running. You seem to run just fine. Later, the officers discovered that Thailand, the driver of the vehicle, had a suspended driver's license and two active warrants, a non-felony warrant for possession of a dangerous weapon and a felony warrant for a robbery of a financial institution party to a crime. But even after being arrested, Thailand chose to be entitled and pretentious. Uh, Thailand, come on up. We're going to get you a ride, man. 
We'll get you our station. Maybe uh, if you need some medical stuff, we can get you looked at, all right? Yeah. Did I do a good job searching you? Yeah. I did? What'd I miss? Well, I think Huh? Yeah, like a, like, a, like a nail or something. You got a nail? I don't know. In which one? On the right side. No, he said he left his shoes in the car. Um, did I miss anything? Oh, no. Well, do you have anything on you? You shouldn't. They still do. Uh, my foot, though. No, no, no. Could okay. you look to see if it's like a, like, like Well, here, why don't you sit down? Like which foot? You're right? Yeah. Let me see. On this side. Not the nail in the, like, right under the front big toe. Up here? Yeah, right there. There's nothing... There's oh. nothing I feel. All right. Devontae's going to pull over. Yeah, he's going to pull over for a second. I didn't miss nothing? No. You got any dope or nothing? No. Which gun's yours? I don't got a gun. Oh. Do you have a gun? Uh, I have one in there. I grabbed the backup. He's going to pull over here so you don't have to walk, so why don't you sit down in a second? Or do you want to sit on the curb? No, because it's going to be hard for me to get it. All right. Why don't you sit back over there? What you say before, uh, you're going to run you back to our station, and then we can get you the, uh, uh, management. Oh, that's your charter support. All right. Hey, if you could log that, uh... Dude, you were running from me, like, five minutes ago. I know, but, like... Just start to cramp up? I ain't just... Which side do you want, Devante? Other one? Yeah. All right. Seven, four, four, nine, one, seven, 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 one, <laughs> How are you that bad already? The three other suspects had no warrants or criminal history, but during the incident, the officers discovered another firearm and 25 grams of marijuana. Thailand was later charged with felony fleeing and misdemeanor bail jumping with a cash bond set at $10,000. Due to the limited involvement in the pursuit, the 19-year-old James Adams was issued a citation for resisting. One of the 17-year-olds was charged with misdemeanor counts of resisting and concealed carrying without a permit. The other 17 year old was charged with misdemeanor counts of resisting, concealed carrying without a permit, and possession of THC while armed. Luckily, no one was injured during the incident who thought they could escape from the cops. Doesn't end here. I do not have to stay with you. You are not in Monroe County, huh? I was trying to stop you. You are not. Yes, I was. My lights and sirens. Get away from me. Get away from me. On October 23, 2022, 29-year-old Ashley Stalsberg was driving in Bangor, Wisconsin, when a La Crosse Sheriff's deputy randomly ran her plate and discovered that her driving status had been suspended due to failure to pay a forfeiture. However, when he tried to conduct a traffic stop, Ashley refused to stop, outrunning the police officer who was driving at 124 miles per hour. Just don't drive into the ditch right now. Ten four is still driving. Wisconsin plate. Adam Lincoln Young eight five two seven. Adam Lincoln Young eight five two seven. We're still on Big Creek Road. It's driving through the East Ditch right now. <laughs> It was not unexpected when she crashed into a ditch due to her uncontrollable speed, but even this did not stop her from fleeing from the police at an insanely high speed until her vehicle got totally disabled. Time for it, smoking. Driver, let me see your hands! Step out of the vehicle. Sounds like, uh, Get out of the vehicle. Drive all over the road and into the ditch. I'm not really sure at this point. Get out of the vehicle. <laughs> Turn around and face away from me. Put your hands above your head. Put your hands above your head. I'll explain it to you once I get your custody. Raise your hands. Put your hands above your head. Do it now. Hold up. Pull your sweatshirt up with your hands. What about her? Turn around. All right. What? Yeah. I tried to stop you in Lacrosse County. You were going 100 on 16. Yes, you were. Keep your hands up. However, if you thought her disabled vehicle would stop her from escaping the police, nothing would prepare you for what she did next. Stay out of the car! No, get away from me! Get away from me! I do not feel safe! I do not have to stay with you. You are not in Monroe County, huh? 
I was trying to stop you. You were not. Yes, I was. My lights and sirens. Get away from me. Get away from me. You are not. One, 117, she's taken. Get oh, I'm at foot northbound. Get away from me. One seventeen. She's running through the east ditch cornfield right now. I can still hear. One seventeen. I copy. I believe the subject is going to be the registered owner. She's continuing slowly through the cornfield. I believe she's still moving north. Ashley stated that she didn't feel comfortable, ran off, and fled into the cornfield. Apparently, she'd do anything to avoid the consequences of her actions. Soon after, other police officers arrived, and a perimeter was set up in a bid to find Ashley. So, I saw her in Bangor and tried to turn around on her because I saw she was suspended. Uh -huh. As soon as she got to 18, around to 16, she was flying. So I finally did the same direction radar, she went 71. So I tried to speed up, and as soon as I started speeding up, she started speeding up. I was going 124, and she was going over 100, and then did on a big creek. And by the time I caught up to her, she was in the ditch. I don't know where she would last be. Somewhere in this area would be my best guess. We're figuring out whether or not they... We got a positive ID on her, so it depends on what they want to do. If they want to apprehend her, we'll probably the, yeah. get her walking sooner or later. What? We got a phone number for her. Why don't you try calling her? Okay. Cannot be completed as the call party is temporarily unavailable. Please try again later. I think she turned her phone off. It says it can't phone be complete. Is it in there? Oh. What we'll do is we'll just obviously patrol through here and when she calls for a ride or whatever, so the vehicles coming through here, I guess we'll see. Even when the officers used thermal imaging and night vision, they were unable to locate her. While it seems very unbelievable that anyone would go to these lengths just to escape the police, the reason why Ashley seemed scared of the police was soon discovered. Um, is she, you know, you know if she's a doper or what? Yeah, she's a doper. Beth. Beth is her preference. So. She's relatively new in the dope game though. I think she's only been doing dope for a year, year and a half maybe. Best of my knowledge. Okay. So. What the hell is she? I don't even know. I didn't know. She's uh, born in 92. Yeah. We only have, yeah, we only have the one booking record with her. Sparta's only got her once. But I've never gotten her. She, I think she might have been involved in Merkel's pursuit with that motorcycle. As someone who already had a drug offense on her record and probably had some drugs on her person, it's not so hard to understand why she felt the need to flee. About 16 hours later, a Monroe County Sheriff's deputy was on his way to locate Ashley at her address when he noticed a vehicle pass beside him with the female driver looking away from him. He got suspicious and decided to run the plates and soon discovered that not only was the car registered to the address he was going to find Ashley, but a past jail booking photo of her looked very similar to the driver, making him conduct a traffic stop. Hi, Sergeant Oswald from the Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping is for traveling 63 into 55. Going 60? Do you know what the speed limit is here? I can't hear you. Do you mind stepping out of the vehicle for me? Step out of the vehicle. What's that? You are stepping out. 9 to 17. You want to head this way. I do not have to step out of the vehicle. You do have to step out. I know my rights. I've done nothing wrong. Okay. Well, not only is your speed one reason why I'm stopping you, but I believe uh, La Crosse County wants to talk to you. So I need you to step out of the vehicle now. No. You do need to step out. Yes. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. You are under arrest. Get out. Right now. Step out of the vehicle now. Don't be reaching in your purse. Step out of the vehicle now. Step out. Girl, what am I gonna do to you? Hey, step out, turn around with your hands Okay, so I gotta give the warning here. Right there. Gotta give the warning that uh, if you go into a jail. I have nothing on me. Okay, I'm just giving the warning like I do for everybody, and then if we find anything illegal, any yeah, type of contraband, it's a felony. Okay. I'm clean. I've been clean for 
a fucking week. Good. I'm gonna and I'm going to treatment year. tomorrow. After Ashley was arrested, she probably hoped that she would be let off the hook when she mentioned that she was going for treatment the next day. However, that was not going to happen. She was later transported to La Crosse County Jail and charged with felony counts of bail jumping and fleeing an officer, and also has two open cases with active bonds. She was eventually released on a $1,000 signature bond and owes up to $1,600 in citations. But it's not just Ashley who chose to be reckless during a traffic stop, as you'll see in this next case. Put your hands up! Hands up to the side! Do not put your hand down! Put your head down! This is 29-year-old Winzo Tillman, who on November 29, 2022, was driving a black vehicle with no license plates and extremely dark-tinted windows and speeding through a parking lot of a mall in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. When an officer noticed his vehicle and decided to conduct a traffic stop, Winzo ran a stoplight, and instead of stopping, he increased his speed. If anyone's by Watertown Plank, he's going to be stuck in traffic here. 221, sir, making a read. 251, copy, 28. Oh, uh, he lost the front driver's side wheel, it looks like. Due to the speed at which he was going and the weather conditions, the officer was thinking about ending the chase, but that was when the expected happened. Okay. I am pursued. He just had a car crash. Watertown Plank. Watertown Plank for crash. Winzo eventually crashed into another vehicle at an intersection, narrowly missing a pedestrian before coming to a stop. But just when you thought he was about to surrender, Winzo made one last attempt at escaping. Get out of the car! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! On the ground! On the ground now! Put your hands out! Hands out to the side! Do not move! Put your head down! Put your head down! Down! Behind your back! Do it now! Do it now! Do it now! I am! I am! I am! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! I am! I am! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm putting it on my shirt. I'm putting it on my shirt. Stop. I'm Stop sorry. resisting. I'm not. 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 I swear to God. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thankfully, no one was injured during the accident, but even after putting him in handcuffs, it became evident that the suspect was not going to comply with the officers. I'm sorry. Yeah, right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop, 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 stop moving, stop moving, dog. stop moving, stop. I'm sorry, stop, I'm sorry, stop, stop moving, I'm sorry, put your I'm leg sorry. down, put I'm your sorry. leg down, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please, please, can I get stop. a one, no, please, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dude, I gotta go get my girlfriend, stop, stop. stop. okay, relax, stop, stop resisting, please, stop resisting your body, please. stop, stop, stop I'm not, I'm not trying to, Please do. Relax. Okay. Do it. Please. Please help me out. Please. Please help me out. Please. No. Dude, listen, I'm not. I'm not. Please. Please. Stop. Please, please, please. Relax. I'm, I'm Stop please. touching your body. Relax, man. After a lot of resistance, Winzo was placed in the police vehicle, but that was when he pulled out another surprise. Wait. Please, 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 please. 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 Yo, please get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Yo, please listen to me. Get in the car. Please. Hold on, please. Just listen to me, dude. Dude, please just listen to me. Get in the car. Please, hold on, wait. Wait, wait, dude, please wait. Get in the car. Wait, please. Just listen to me, please. Please listen to me. 
Please, 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 At this point, Winzo's restless behavior aroused the suspicion that he might be under the influence, leading the officers to ask that a checkup be done on him. Yeah, he's just, he's pretty excited. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not too sure if anything's he, he he seems he seems excited enough to be on something, but I'll let you guys check him out. Dude, that guy almost got hit. He was saying. <laughs> And the only reason I kept it going is because traffic was so bad, I didn't think it should be able to get through. And well, and then when you said you lost the tire. Yeah, you guys are ready. You guys are ready? Yeah. All right. Can you please listen to me? Relax. Can you please me and you are going to talk later, okay? Stop. 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 We don't just want to make I didn't sure get okay, that right. Okay. What is your first name? Sir, what's your first name? Please. We're going to listen to you, but we need to know who you are. All right, can I take five minutes? Please, we all listen to you. What's your first name? Yeah, please, this is What's your last name? I don't know. What's your date of birth? I don't know. I don't know. We're listening. I'm, here. I'm on the way. Dude, man, I'm on the way to get my wife to work. Please, right. please, can y'all please just, I don't have no feelings. I don't have no misdemeanors, nothing, dude. I swear to God, man. Just try to, I just, okay. Just I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm scared. I just want to make sure you're okay. Dude, okay, I'm okay. Dude, I just want to go get my wife from work, dude. I swear to God, dude, dude. dude. Please listen. 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 I'm gonna have to jump yeah. over you then. Right. I'm okay. <laughs> you don't have to flash that light in my eye. That light is like. Can y'all please? Girl, please don't funny. let me go to jail, dude, man. Please, dude. I'm back you from the bottom of my heart, dude. Huh? I swear to God, please. Yeah, that's right. I'm back you from the bottom of my heart, dude. Yeah. I'm back you from the bottom of my heart, man. During the checkup, an officer noticed Winzo's glassy and bloodshot eyes, and together with the fact that he was unable to finish sentences, only heightened their suspicion. This soon made sense when officers searched and discovered something in his car. You ready for what I found in the car? No. You ready? No. If you say nothing, I'm gonna <laughs> a tiny little bit of weed and an open bottle of booze. <laughs> That's it? Yep. Oh, yeah. in there, Frank. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. Damn it! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I completely forgot about that. I saw it right away. I completely forgot about it. Son of a f***. Hardy, hardy. Spit and chicklets, man. Dude, my gun's in my hand. I literally... Just like a one-handed tap. Soon after, Winzo performed standardized field sobriety tests and had a breath alcoholic content of 0.167, more than twice the limit. The officers also discovered that he was out on bond for battery, disorderly conduct, resisting, and operating a firearm while intoxicated. In the end, Winzo was charged with felony counts of secondary degree reckless endangerment, fleeing an officer, two counts of misdemeanor, bail jumping, and receiving received several other citations, which included driving while intoxicated, with his cash bond set at $10,000. But dumb suspects trying to escape the police doesn't end here, as you'll see in the next case. On 
December 31, 2022, 30-year-old Derek Triplett was fleeing from the police in a stolen black vehicle in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, when he abruptly pulled over and dropped a male and female, who were immediately taken into custody by the police. As he continued to escape, another officer noticed him traveling at an insane speed and attempted a traffic stop. At first, Derek did as if he was going to stop, but then decided to do the dumbest thing ever. Despite the blaring sirens and flashing lights on the police vehicles, Derek persisted in his reckless driving, disregarding the officers as he sped through residential neighborhoods and put residents at risk. However, it wasn't long before the inevitable happened. After several attempts to bring the vehicle to a stop, Derek eventually drove into a ditch, and as he tried to maneuver his way out, he lost control of the vehicle and crashed head-on into another deputy's car. Immediately after the crash, Derek realized the kind of trouble he was in and surrendered before being taken into custody, where he began to confess why he was fleeing. I'll have a gun. Where's the gun? Oh, Are you injured at all? No, I'm not focused, man. Okay, okay do you need an ambulance, though? I'm okay as far as I should. Okay, go ahead. you don't need an ambulance? No. Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Since I got a little bit of a... Okay. I'm Derek Chipley, y'all. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't need an ambulance. He's good. I'm Derek Chipley, man. I don't even... No, okay, I don't, what are you tripping on? What do you take? They, they gave me something. I've been trying to... Okay. We'll get you an ambulance, okay? I've been trying to focus. Hey, okay. what's your name, bud? Derek Chipley. Between Can you write this down? Derek? Derek Chipley. Spell it for me. He said he's high on something they gave him. Something, but he doesn't know. He smells like booze. He smells like booze, but his eyes aren't. During the arrest, Derek admitted that he couldn't focus as a result of something he had taken earlier before both he and the deputy were transported to the hospital where they were treated for their minor injuries. In the end, Derek was charged with felony first degree recklessly endangering safety, two counts of operating without consent, two counts of vehicle fleeing and eluding an officer, and fleeing an officer causing injury and property damage. He was also charged with misdemeanor counts
counts of bail jumping and operating while revoked, with his cash bond set to $25,000. But it's just Derek who thought fleeing from an officer was a good idea, as you'll see in this next case. I don't have vehicle. Where's the keys? You got the keys in it? I don't have vehicle. This is 31-year-old Anthony Alfonso Sanchez, who on June 20th, 2023, caused multiple crashes and purposefully smashed into other vehicles in Otero County, Colorado. When officers attempted a traffic stop, Anthony refused to comply, eventually leading to a pursuit. It wasn't until first responders rammed his vehicle out of the road that spun him around and allowed police to surround his vehicle before Anthony was arrested and put in the back seat of a patrol car. Soon after, police officers searched his car and found the loaded weapon in the passenger seat. But if you thought this was the end of his tyranny, you're in for a surprise, as no one expected what he did next. Somehow, Anthony wiggled free in the back seat before sliding to the driver's seat of the patrol car and driving off in an attempt to make an escape. Not only was Anthony now in a stolen vehicle, but he even ran past a red light as officers were soon heard over the radio. During the pursuit, they discovered that an officer's rifle was left in the stolen vehicle, and for someone who cared less about safety, there was no telling what Sanchez could do. When Anthony showed no signs of stopping, the officers decided to use another alternative. Charger, he's driving down the middle of the lane, get stop sticks out. As many sets as you can get. Coming at you, Jay, first car. Westbound on the westbound lane, eastbound on the westbound lane, 393. Coming up on stop sticks. 
were deployed, Anthony managed to avoid them twice. However, the third time, he wasn't so lucky. Is that what she said? Where are you you want me to take this? Okay. Switch, Candy. I don't have the engine. Where's the keys? Good, 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 good. keys in it. I don't have the vehicle. The keys? Good sticks. Good sticks. We got a take it. The third set of stop sticks deflated his tires, causing him to lose control of the vehicle and crash head-on into a nearby semi-truck. Unfortunately, the squad car caught fire, and although he was rescued from the scene and taken to the hospital, he died shortly after from the injuries he sustained in the crash. If you enjoyed this video, watch this next one, and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.